Again, this is me, Sir JB, and today I will be giving you a tutorial on how to navigate Quizzes. So, Quizzes is an application where which you can use for students in their formative assessment in a more engaging and fun way. So, let's see how does it work. Okay, so the first step for opening a Quizzes is to go to the Google browser. Okay, so of course you need to go to the quizzes.com. Okay, so it will give you this preface, the quizzes, uh, quizzes.com preface. Now after one, uh, this one is for the students. The join the game is for the students. And the sign up is for the teachers. Okay, or for the students also. But mostly this one must be done by teachers. So let's sign up. After signing up, it will give you to the welcome to quizzes. Now we will use our Google address or our Google accounts, okay, for security purposes. Okay, so the first thing we need to check here is first we have this search for quiz on any topic. So this one means that you can search any quiz on any topic. So this one are the ready-made quizzes okay so for example i will put here subject verb agreement okay so once you have put the subject verb agreement they will uh, this one will give bring you to this place where you can see a lot of subject verb agreement quiz okay and it depends on the grade also there are three to six ninth grade fourth to seven and others okay so after that for example we're going to click on this one okay so it will give you this area now here we can check the questions okay so you can see here all the questions and you can also show the answer okay so it means that these are the answer on this particular quiz okay so you can also print the quiz by this one, okay? Or you can share it to your co-teachers, okay? And you can also edit it, okay? So for example, we're going to edit it, okay? So once you edit it, you can remove some of the questions, okay? So you can remove some of the questions in the subject verb agree agreement quiz, okay? So for example, I want to remove this one, then that's fine. So after editing, you can start it with practice, okay? So you can assign this one also as homework, and you can also play this one as live in face-to-face -face scenario, okay? So for example, we have, or we wanted it to be assigned as a homework, okay? So we have this one, okay? So you just need to put here the date, when are you going to give the quizzes then you can also put the time okay and you can there are also general settings like student attempts uh, show answers in game or show answers post game so you can change that one you can also shuffle the questions and you can also shuffle the answer options okay so if you continue this one okay so this one will be the link for the students okay and the link can be shared into your google classroom okay so it means that when the students uh, click on the link in the google classroom it will bring them to the join or to the quizzes area okay so let's after Another thing is that you can also practice this one, okay? You can let uh, the students do this by solo, okay? And of course, play live in face-to-face. -face. So I think that's the thing that you need to know about this one, okay? In the ready-made quizzes. Okay. So for example, let's try to practice. 
okay so here when you practice okay so this one will come out okay, so you just need to click on the play quiz okay so after you play the quiz okay so there will be instruction okay. so that's it so you just need to answer it okay next let's move on to how about you wanted to create your own quiz okay so how do you do it so if you wanted to create your own quiz let's click on the create new quiz so once you click on the create new quiz you can name the quiz for example elements of story okay so that's the name of the quiz click on the English okay. then next so after that it will bring you to this one so you can do multiple choice okay so you can write the questions here after that you can put the options and also you can add pictures and for math you can add also math equations okay then you can also change the time allotment okay? and how do you click on the correct answer just click on the check button beside okay so that's the first one so how about checks uh, check box okay so how do you do this one so you put a question then you put all the answer option okay so the same thing you can change it then fill in the blanks okay so you have the question here then you can put the answer and there are alternative answers also at okay. the same time you can change it and for the poll so the poll will be ungraded so they will be marked as correct in the game reports okay so you can just put the questions here then you can add all the answer options okay. then for the open-ended questions so you can just write the question here however this one will be ungraded because you need to check it on your own so it will not be computer generated checking but you need to really check it on your own so that's it so for example let's try one question it it, it refers to the time and place of the story so the option is character setting plot and theme so the answer here is setting so once you save it okay so for example it's done okay, so save from fifth fourth grade okay, save okay. so once you have this one you can play live okay. So when you play it on live, okay. so classic theme and test. So the theme is for the students answer at their own pace, but the scores are grouped by theme. And this one is classic, meaning individual, and this one is for test. This one requires login because, of course, you will be conducting a serious assessment. Okay. So for example, we have the classic so the same setting so let's continue okay. so we need to open another browser okay so let's try to enter the game eight three five one nine one okay so once we join in okay so we have jb for example start the name of the game okay so jb was already here Okay. However, there are some instances that there are some students who are not writing their real name. For example, they are putting inappropriate words or name in the game. So we want to manage that one. So maybe we can remove them immediately. Okay. So once we remove them, okay. so let's try again. I'm going to enter again. Okay. So this one will be for the student 
you were kicked out of this gig. So back to home and in log in again the quiz. Then you join. Then I'm going to write again JB. But this time it will not be recorded. So the name is already taken. Okay. So I need to change it with my real name. For example, Jerome. Okay. Start the game. So my name is here already. Then the teacher can click on start. So the student click on the correct answer then you can see this one here so the questions okay. so you can also identify how many seconds did the student answer then which one is correct and which one is incorrect okay then if you end the game you can have this one okay so you can check on their names okay. so that's the summary so you can also have this one if you have in class so you can check on the class accuracy if the class answered 100% of the questions correctly then you can check also the toughest question meaning which one was incorrectly answered by most of the students the longest questions meaning it the question which uh, takes most of the time and the average time taken per question okay. then you, in case that you have your students here you will have a lot of names under this one okay. then you can email it directly to the parents that's the good thing about quizzes okay. so we're done with creating your new quiz how about my quiz okay. so my quiz meaning this is the collection of your own quizzes okay, so your quiz so these are your quizzes created okay then reports okay so for the reports you can see here the reports of the different quizzes that you have so for example i have this one before okay. so wait, i'm going to show you this one is I, so I have 50 students okay so their names are listed here so as you can see there is an accuracy okay. so for example the students got 95% okay so you can email that one to the parents okay. then you can check also which the question per question which one got the high or the correct answers how many percent how many percent did not and how many percent did not answer also Okay. then overview okay you can check this one also the wrong answers okay. so your target here it must be mostly green not red okay. and the standards okay. so it must be based on the standards okay. so you can print download okay if you download this one it will bring you to another excel file okay. so for example this is the file there so you can check also the file how many correct and how many incorrect okay and let's go back to the classes of course the, your classes this one can be you can create your own class and you can also connect this one in a google classroom class okay then collection your quizzes okay the memes okay you mean that you're going to put in your quizzes and of course the setting okay and the logging out okay so once you log out that's it that's all for today so i think it's very simple to navigate quizzes i hope you learned something new from me and that's Bye -bye. all for today so i hope you have learned something about this tutorial so i think quizzes will be a great help for us teachers especially in assessing our students so that's all. Bye. See you again on my next video.